Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Alvaron and today we are back in Valheim with another seed discovery video. This seed discovery is pretty cool. It's got four maypoles, which is very rare. Now, in my on my channel I do a lot of Valheim seed discoveries and I've done I've I've looked at so many different seeds in my time playing Valheim. I want to tell you maypoles are rare. We know that. Having two maypoles is pretty rare. Three is extraordinary. Four is um, is is very very rare. In addition to that, um, the only thing that's rarer really than the four maypoles on on one starter continent is when you get those towns, those little villages that have two maypoles. That's the most rare. Anyways, um, quickly, this particular video was a request by one of my subscribers so I just want to remind all of you that if you have a seed that you want me to check out and do the deep dive um, and give my assessment send me an email you can go to the about page on my YouTube channel and there is my email address um, <clears throat> send me a Gmail make sure that you put in the title Valheim seed discovery so I see it and you know tell me the seed that you want me to review make sure you put your seed title in there, the uh, seed ID in there I'll take a look at it. If it's something I want to review, I think it's worthy of it. I'll do it. Um, <clears throat> the only caveat is, is make sure that it's got a maypole because that's really the what I'm doing here is maypole, you know, discoveries. Unless it's a unique seed like uh, the elders on a really tiny island or something like that. Anyways, you get the gist. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I appreciate the support. So, first of all, here's a maypole right here. Okay, uh, we're gonna do this a little differently. I'm gonna we're gonna take a look at the seed generator first before we get into all of the maypoles. Okay, so there's four maypoles on this seed. Okay, now here's the the spawn. Okay, here are the maypoles. Uh, one, two, three, four. This is gonna be great for. Um, if you if you're playing on a server, um, if you've got a modded playthrough, if you got four or five like co-op, uh, this is pretty good. So I just wanted to show you here are the four. Now the unique thing is is this is the one that's the furthest away from the spawn. Okay, so that's this one up here. Now the ocean that we're gonna see is is off to the north here, and that is okay but what's unique about this particular um, maypole is you know obviously you've got the starter village you've got plenty of buildings here you get some boars you've got some raspberry bushes which is great but when you come down here to the to the water you've got a five stone portal hub one of the old portal hubs which if you've listened to the channel if you've watched my videos before you know I love these portal hubs these old portal hubs if you played the beta um, for Valheim, you remember that they, they were going to have these as the portals to where the bosses were, and then they took that out, but they left the stones. These are indestructible. This would be a great port right here. And then, you know, you roll up, and here's your little village with your maypole. So that's maypole number one. Now, I am going to fly to all of them. We're going to check them out because I want to do them justice. And when you've got this many maypoles, on a seed what you want to do is is you want to check to find out which ones are great which ones are good that one was very good okay because it's it, it's not right on the ocean okay however it's close enough and then what you're getting is you've got that five stone uh portal hub right there that you can build a nice little port with um that's a pretty solid maypole location right there okay, that in and of itself would be worthy of a video <laughs> okay, and and the, and the thing about this seed is, is it just keeps on giving. There's there's four. Um, we are going to do the deep dive, so I'm going to go over the bosses. I'm going to go over the biomes, etc. You know, are are they good biomes? Where are the crypts, etc. Um, the overall rating for this is going to be like an eight and a half, I think, because th there's a couple of issues that we do have with the seed, but what we the the four maypoles just make it astounding like i said that's 
in my experience in looking for all of the maypole through all the maypole seeds that I have, four maypoles on a in a general area is is really rare. Um, you don't really find that that often. At least I haven't. So it's going to take a while, obviously, to fly around to each location. Um, I could cut splice that out, but I don't really do that on my channel. I like you to be to see everything that I have to do to accumulate to accomplish the goals that I set forth in my gaming. So if you were to do this, if you were to start the scene and check out all the maypoles, you would have to do this as well. And I'm in cheat mode, so <laughs> you know maybe you'd be sailing or whatever. But I think a lot of uh, YouTubers, what they do is, is they'll cut and splice, and that's great for brevity. You know, you get a chance to hurry up and and see the video, and that's cool. But it's not really reality. Like this is what's really happening. This is what you actually have to do. But we're coming up on Maypole number two, and this one's okay. I, uh, you know, um. It's okay. I don't like it as much as I like the first one, but it's it, it's it's a unique little location in and of itself. Now we're coming up pretty high. This one is here. It it's right here. In, in there's a beehive in this little village too, so it's this one you can run to, and you can run to two of them right away. This one, it's not directly on the water, but you're, you're right there. And that's going to open up to um, you being able to sail. So that's pretty solid in and of itself. But I kind of like the, the aesthetic here. You've got the mountain in the background, which is cool. Um, you've got a stone right here, which, again, these are indestructible. And the only reason I point that out is, is you may want to build something there. It may be... Um, a place to put your your bore pen or whatever you want to do but that can't be destroyed that's cool the maypole in of itself is is located okay in terms of where it is in to the to the village it's not fantastic if the maypole were here that would be super cool you could build all around it with all of your existing plots i call them plots because this is some you know they're already pre-built for you um but where it's way down here you're kind of um, it's not as, as aesthetic as I would like, but it's not a bad maypole location. Okay, then this in and of itself, this maypole, I wouldn't have done a seed for a seed discovery video for. All right, so we're going to go to the one down here in the south, and then we're going to pop back up here for the final one, and then we're going to do the actual discovery where we look at the map, we look at the boss's proximity, etc. Um, right now, the best maypole so far is the one that's way up here. It's also the furthest one away. <clears throat> so, as I'm making this video, I believe it's the 18th or 19th of June, um, Coffee Stain has released the uh, summer update, and you're now able to build your own maypoles wherever you want. So, these seed discovery videos from the maypoles, usually they, they drop off a little bit in the summer because, you know, people... People like, dude, I can build my own. I don't, I don't need you to find it for me, <laughs> which is cool. I understand. But um, I still do them anyways because I, I think they're pretty pretty unique. Anyways, here's the third maypole. Now, this one is in a pretty nice location. Um, you've got another village behind you right here, which is nice. Okay, um, I can see you building a little farming community, farm right there. You can see there's plenty of plots with some... Uh, raspberries, there's three buildings, there's a well building, there's the dark forest behind you, which is cool, and then this opens up to a little port right here. Um, I think this would be a really nice little port location, and that's a pretty solid maypole location. This would probably be a one that I would play. Um, this is really nice. And finally, let's get to this last one before we get, uh, before the sun goes down. But I like that one too, so out of the maypoles so far, two out of the three are the ones that I would definitely play. That second one that we visited, it's still nice. It's a maypole location. You know, maypoles are very rare. They're not on every seed. That's why we do the discoveries. And there are points in the year where um, you can't build your own maypole. So, 
you know, you definitely want to find them if you can find it. And what does a maypole do for you? It's not necessary to play Valheim with a maypole, but maypoles confer to you a plus one minute bonus to your rested bonus. Um, so when you're rested, all of your comfort that you have accumulated is worth one point. That's one minute to your rested bonus. That's how I should have phrased it. So a maypole just gives you an additional minute, which is nice. And they don't stack, okay? So you can't just make three maypoles and get three additional minutes. Now, here's the last maypole. This one is probably the least attractive to me. And as you can see, it's in the middle of a meadow. Um, it's not super far away from the water, but, you know, we're not going to build here. This wouldn't be one that I would play. So of the four maypoles, uh, I'm thinking that there's really two that are high play values. This one up here is the one that I would grab because it's got that five stone hub right on the water. Okay, um, and this one over here is pretty damn good too. It's got that natural bay. Either one of those two is definitely um, top-notch maypole in my opinion. These two are, are, aren't bad. Um, you know, again, you've got four maypoles in the general area of the spawn. That's pretty remarkable. That very It's very, very rare. Like I said in the intro, the only thing rarer than four maypoles would obviously be five. I've never seen that. But when you get one of those towns that has two maypoles in it, that's extremely rare. I've only seen three of those in my travels. So, anyways, four maypoles on a seed, that's remarkable. All right, good. Just in time to check out the map. So, here's the map, okay? This is the maypole we're, we're at right now. Okay, Th this is the one here that had the really nice um, bay, and you can see it here. This is a nice build one, okay? And not only that, but this little island here has, you know, it's got a swamp, it's got a mountain. You got some nice little, uh, this is a nice little island right here. You got plenty of resources. You could spend a lot of time over here, build up. Um, this is the other one that had that aesthetic of the mountain in the background, which wasn't too bad. And But here's the one that's, you know, right on the water with the five stone hub right up here. Let's see if I can find that. Where is that? Um, yeah, so here's that five stone, stone circle, okay, um, and it opens up, you know, to the north, to the east, and you get to the south. This one down here is, isn't bad. You're in almost a bay, though, of the main island, of your main spawn. It's not horrible, but, um, I, I would rank this one probably my highest, because it's got that bay, and you can build a nice little, uh, you build a nice little dock right there. Plus, it's decently close to the spawn. Um, the one that we looked at up here is probably second. So let's let's get to the nitty gritty here. Let's see where all the good stuff is. Let's take a look at the bosses, and we'll make an assessment from there. Now, this is where things get pretty good. Okay. You've got a couple of options here. You, number one, you've got Elder and Motor and Bone Mass right around. Now, this Bone Mass on a little island right here is pretty cool. Okay. Um, so this Maypole up here, you've got a really good location to farm up your Elder and your Motor. Again, if you're playing on a modded server, it may very well be that you have to accumulate drops from the bosses to get certain uh, skills or... I don't know. Uh, I've played mods before where there's magic, and if you can't, you have to get boss drops to get a certain spell or whatever. Um, or maybe you're playing on a server with a group of people, and you know you accumulate ten boss drops, you trade it in, and the server owner gives you a, a unique reward. Whatever, that's cool. Um, the, the the interesting thing about this particular seed is. The concentration of bosses is is decent. However, you have to travel to get there. If we go to the southeast right here, we've got Elder, Bone Mass, Motor, Yagloth. That's fantastic. The downside of that play is, is you don't have a queen over here. I mean, imagine if the queen was right here. You'd be like, dude, that's fantastic. 
you've got all the resources, all the biomes that you need, but there's no queen over here. But still, you've got four bosses pretty close right over here. Another decent play is, is coming up here, getting your elder, getting your motor. You've got bone mass. Those are pretty close. Um, you've got Yagalus over here and over here. The problem is, is you've got two queens here, one queen up here, and one queen way over here, a couple of queens over there. Um, the queens are very far away. Let's face it. Um, so your end game play is going to be tough. I think that the correct play, at least the play that I would make, is I'm heading to the southeast. Because what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to find somewhere down here, probably by this elder, to build a base. And I'm going to farm up these four bosses. I'll go deal with the queen later. Okay. But anyways, let's let's find the traitor. That's the good news for the for the strategy I have. This traitor is right by this this elder. Okay. So this makes the decision a lot easier. Now the question is is what maypole were you going to play? Um, if you came to the north because you wanted that five stone portal hub to build, um, you've got a trader right here. Okay. If you came to the south uh, of the of the spawn, you've got this maypole which doesn't have any bosses around it. You're going to have to sail over here and get to the trader, and then there's your elder. I don't think that's the a bad play. That's the play I think I'm going to make. I've got my mo I've got a bone mass of motor yagloth. I've got another yagloth here. I've got another bone mass here. Uh, you know, I've got plenty of, of options if I go south and southeast. That's the play. Um, and that elder is really close to that to that trader. That's pretty solid. Let's quickly look at a troll cave. And there's a troll cave right there. So for me, if you've been on the channel long enough, you know that I love troll caves because I put a portal inside of them of the troll cave, close it up, and that's my quick portal base. I've got a troll cave right next to trader and the elder and it's down south here that allows me to get access to these bosses so the bosses aren't bad um the queen is a problem you're gonna have to get off your duff uh and and sail to her which is not the end of the world but it is what it is so one of the things that we do on the seed discovery videos is is we want to make sure that our boss locations have um, the correct resources, right? So we want to make sure that the Elder has plenty of crypts around it. We want to make sure the Bone Mass has plenty of sunken crypts. Motor has the eggs, etc. So let's take a look at the tombs and crypts real quickly. I, again, the south is the play. Th this, this Elder down here has plenty of crypts. You've also got plenty over here if this is your Maypole play to farm up. You, you're going to be fine here getting your certling cores or whatever. So by the time you sail down here to get your um, troll cave portal set up, you'll have plenty of certling cores. If you want more, there's some here. This bone mass is solid. There's plenty of crypts around it. Okay, So I, I think for, for, for the elder and the bone mass, those are two really good biomes right there. The south is the play. Now, this bone mass is unique. It's on its own little island. It's got one crypt. That might be cool for, like, um, a unique type of fight or just being on a small island if you want to experience that. I mean, you've got that option. Just because I think you should go southeast doesn't mean you're going to. Um, if you, you know, this is okay. I would like to see more crypts, though, in, in the swamps I go to. I still think the southeast is the play. Let's take a look at the frost caves. See how this motor checks out. It's four. It's not great. Okay. What you want to see is you want to see five or six of these because you want to, you know, you're obviously going to um, farm it up to get those mountain resources to do your builds, uh, to do your mountain builds, whatever you want to do, the fangs, etc. Now, the good news is, is there's one frost cave right by the motor. So if everything goes to crap in your motor fight, which, you know, uh, has happened to me, <laughs> okay, you could run into the mountain cave and basically break aggro. Okay, now motor will start to heal herself, 
But, you know, you can throw things in the mouth of the cave, get in there. Um, I, I think you can enclose the front of the cave, although the drakes will attack it. Um, it you could probably throw a bed down there because it's got the overhang and just a couple of little walls and you should be all right. So you can make your spawn there. Um, so again, that motor location isn't bad. Now, if our maypole plays here, we don't have any uh, frost caves as a resource. We've got a couple on the main island, though. So, you know, it, it's okay. There's enough. Let's take a look at the dragon eggs. You want to make sure there's at least three. You have plenty of dragon eggs on this motor. Okay. Um, you got a couple over here by your maypole. Maybe you grab one as a decoration for your house, whatever. But you need to see three of them by the motor here because they weigh a ton. And you can't just run around with them. You, you know, they don't go through portals unless you're using a moderate cheat. Um, so, yeah, that this is good. So, this is a pretty good motor location. So, where we're at here is, is the play from to the southeast is we're getting a really good elder location with the trader and plenty of crypts. We're getting a really good bone mass location with enough sunken crypts. And we're getting a really good motor location with uh, plenty of eggs, uh, enough crypts, not great, but it's okay. So I've got three solid bosses right down here. Now let's take a look at Yagloth. Now Yagloth, we want to make sure that they've got the totems. It's actually really good. You need five totems to get a Yagloth activated. There's five right here, and then there's another three over here. Uh, that's actually an exceptional Yagloth, because what happens a lot of times with Yagloth is, is you're going to find that they don't have a lot of totem camps around the boss spawn. Now, this one down here to the south has five as well, but if you can find five totems, totem camps uh, by Yagloth, you're doing fantastic. So... Uh, Again, let's add that as a positive. We've got four excellent bosses all near each other. Four very good biomes that give us the resources we need to finish that boss. Um, I think this is shaping up to be a seed that's probably maybe closer to an 8.75 8 than an 8.5 because of these four boss locations. But again, I'm focusing solely on this area over here. There's plenty of other locations you can go to, but this is my play because it also brings me closer to the Ashlands, which is going to be the next biome for us, right? So there's that. But let's take a look at the tar pits real quickly while we're here. Um, there's plenty of tar pits by this Yagloth, so you can get the, the tar, so you can build your um, improved roofing and the aesthetics, so that's important. Now, let's talk about the queen because the queen is the thing here that I think is probably going to be our biggest issue. We're spending most of our time down here. Uh, we finished Yagloth. Now what? Okay. We, we've got a queen up here to the north. We've got to go through. we got a sail. We've got a queen down here to the south. I'm probably going to this one to the north. Okay. Now, uh, just a disclaimer. In my playthroughs currently, um, I have not played the Mistlands thoroughly. I've investigated it. So you're going to take this with a grain of salt, but I think that the Northern Queen here is the play for me. Um, let's take a look at sources of iron. There's a couple up here. Um, there's one, two near the Queen. That's good. Again, we, we're always looking for um, positive assets in the biome by which the spawn resides, right? There's plenty of them. We could go over here and farm shit up, stuff up as much as we want, but we want to see stuff close to spawn. That way we, we go to one concentrated area, we can focus it, we can mentally map it so when we're running around, we remember the, the topography of where we were. Um, if you're going to different biomes all over the map for Mistlands, by the time you get to the Queen, you'd be like, okay, I'm just going to run directly here. You don't know what's around it. If you farm around that area, like I do for all my biomes, you're going to know the area really well. It's going to make your boss fight that much better. Um, let's look for the Seekers. It's enough. Um, pff, 
plenty of giants around here. So uh, that's cool. And the buildings. These Diverger buildings are actually pretty cool. It's plenty by the queen. So again, this play, the northern queen here is the play. That's pretty far away from our base, though. Okay, so what I'm envisioning is um, I'm building my base here. If I'm playing on a server, I probably got, you know, four or five other people playing. Maybe they grab this maple here, here, whatever. It's probably a portal hub somewhere. I'm building a portal down here somewhere, right by this trader. Okay, so I'm right here anyways. I'm going to need a port over here as well. I'm going to boat up this way. It's still a long, long haul to get to that queen, though. So that's, again, th this is a really good seed because it's got the four maypoles, which is rare. But the queen is really out there. Now, when I first took a look at this, um, again, this was sent in by a subscriber to the channel, which you can always do if you want. Um, send me an email. You can find that in the About page on my YouTube um, and I'll check them out. But, you know, when I first did the assessment, when I responded to him, I said, you know, I, the end game here for Yagolith and the Queen doesn't look that attractive. But then I really took a harder look at it and I said, well, okay, if I come here, I've got actually all my bosses right in an area. I just boot up north. It's still not great. If the Queen was here, this would be like a nine and a half seed. It'd be great. Um, not quite a 10 because there you do have to sail it wouldn't be a speed run but not bad so let's get some of the ancillary stuff out of the way right like some of the stuff that we we, we need to know where it is but it's not critical for um every run so let's look for at leviathans now you don't want your abyssal harpoon you're here um there's a lot up here by this bone mass. I mean, you take a one play session and go farm up some leviathans. Um, you should be able to get plenty, especially if you're playing in a group. Send a couple of boats out. Go farm up these leviathans. Get a couple down here to the south. Um, as you make your way down to this boss cluster, this four or five down here. So you should have no problem getting your um, chitlin for your abyssal harpoon, which is great. Um, tombs and crypts we took a look at beehives. You always want to do beehives. There's always plenty of beehives on your starter island where you start near the spawn. There's none by the maypole up here. There's a few up here. Um, honey, queen bees are interesting. I always get four or five of them right away, so I'm all, I'm I'm constantly producing honey, right? Because that's what you want. Because it's a really good early food source. Just take the time when you first spawn in. Run around, you know, near the spawn. You should find two or three little villages or whatever um, that have bees, and you should be fine. Let's get that, get that honey flowing real fast. Let's see. Um, useful runes. Where are the piggies? Plenty by this maple, um, <laughs> which is great. Um, the two that we're most likely to build on, this one up here has one, okay, which is actually pretty good, which is, by the way, close to a motor, which is also pretty good. So if you're building up here, or if you're doing a, you know, a uh, co-op playthrough, the person with this maypole has got that five stone hub, they've got, you know, a nice bore stone here, and they've got a motor location, that's pretty solid. Down here, you really don't have too much, so... If you are doing a solo play and you decide to use the maple I would use, um, definitely enclose those boars right away so you can get them domesticating. Um, we took a look at the tar pits. There's really not a whole heck of a lot else to look at. So overall, I think this is probably an 8.5 or an 8.75. Uh, if someone came back and said, you know, Carol, I think this is a 9. I think you're being too harsh. That's fine taking a full point off for that queen location and then you know you've got a quarter point if 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 everything was on the starter island that would be good however uh i don't a lot of people when they do the seeds or they rate the seeds they say oh god all the bosses are on the starter islands is great it's a 10 out of 10 i don't actually agree with that i think that you know valheim is meant to be played a certain way and you know, the Viking theme, etc. 
we should be in boats we should be sailing now generally I think a good seed would have been like this uh, would have been a nine and a half or more um, if that queen was really close to that southeastern location I mean the uh, yeah southeastern location with all those bosses so you have to sail a little bit and you should be sailing a little bit in Valheim if you just want to do a speed run all you got to do is open up a new seed find where that current boss is that you want to fight teleport over there and just defeat it like most of us have been playing so long like I've been playing for so long now I've got a vault I've got a seed that I played it was modded it was easy mode I freaking face rolled the whole thing I collected so much junk on that I put I, I built a vault and I put all that stuff in there I still have that seed I can go back and get any boss trophy that I want so it's really what you want to be doing now with your Valheim playthrough but this seed I think sailing is 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 a part of it and it should be you need to build a boat you're a Viking I think it's a pretty good seed um, again this was something that was requested by a by a subscriber to my channel now I'm not gonna say the person's name because I, I I usually I, I want to give credit where credits due. this is not something I found someone gave it to me but I don't like to put uh, you know uh, YouTube people's names out there even if it's just a YouTube name because unless they want to come by uh, and and take credit you know because you never know right it, some people are funny about that we've talked an email he knows who he is if you're out there thank you so much for the seed um, definitely post in the comments below if you want to take ownership of it that's cool I have no problem with that but let me know for the rest of you let me know what you think about the seed in the comments below um, I really appreciate you coming by, taking your time to watch my content. This one was a little bit of a deeper dive than normal because we had four maypoles to get to. So it's going to be a little bit longer of a video. If you made it this far, I really, really appreciate it. Remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out. I appreciate the support. And I'll talk to you again soon.